you've got this, this whole cycle going on. So trees are growing, they're dropping their seed, that's creating the recruitment for the new forest to come through. When they're actually before the seed, you get your berry, that's feeding the birds. So you take the, the kukupa, for example, or the kiradu as it's known elsewhere, grabbing those seeds and flying off and disputing. Basically, you get good distribution of that, of that seed source. So that whole cycle's going on, right? So that's what a forest should be doing, this, this amazing cycle. What's going on with the pests here is that they just completely break that. So let's, for example, take the kiradu's trying to nest, right? So from about now, the kukupa will be out here nesting. Well, it's actually not out here because the, the, the numbers of production is too high. So they lay their one egg, and then a rat takes it. So you don't get your fledgling at all. There's no chick, or it eats the chick, or possum will do the same. So you've just broken that, the ability to disperse the seed, because that bird's not going to do so well in the, in the long term. Then, what about the seed that hits the ground? It's supposed to grow into another tree and come through for regeneration. How's it going to do that if, if it gets hoovered up? by thousands of rats. It doesn't, so what you get is your forest starts to die. And the things that die first are the things, the ice cream species. So those, those palatable species that they, those pests just love, like if you look at northern rata, you know, yum, and they're into it, they're gone. And so you slowly start to get this breakdown. That's what's going on out there, it's pretty serious.